हलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक सो एलियर प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हेव टेस्टेड वन टू वन रिलेशनशिप विथ बै क्रियेटिंग रेस्ट ए पे राइट सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेस्ट वन टू वन रिलेशनशिप विथ रेस्ट ए पे ऐ इट विल टेक टाइम राइट सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकॉज यू हेव टू क्रियेट कंट्रोलर एंड यू हेव टू क्रियेट सर्विस क्लासेस एंड यू हेव टू क्रियेट Uh, I have to send request from REST client and then so it's lot of process, right? So in this lecture, I am going to teach you how quickly we can test one to one relationship with Spring Boot application. So we no need to create a controller and we no need to create service classes. Uh, we just need to create entity classes and JPA repository. so you are going to learn how quickly we can test one to one association with spring boot without creating rest api let's start so let me close all uh, existing clauses and let me open main application spring boot application dot java so this is spring boot application dot java right so our uh, application execution will starts from here so if you want to test uh, spring boot application without uh, if you want to test one to one relationship without creating rest apis so we can test with uh, spring boot application spring boot of main java class okay so this is the spring boot application of main java class from here actually the execution will start so we can test one to one relationship from this class okay so now let me implement it so before that let me explain you one to one to make you uh, to make it easily understand i will take another example we can uh, quickly i will click i will quickly explain you okay so let me explain you like let me open notepad plus plus so i am going to take one example with a student and aadhar student and aadhar card so student can have can have a uh, student can associated with aadhar card and aadhar card can associated with student this is called one to one relationship mapping so let me explain you with excel sheet so that you can easily understand how mapping we are going to do so let me create a student table okay so let's say student table will have id and student name let me add a student name and okay student first name i will add first name and last name okay student table uh, let's assume student table is having id first name and last name so let me write uh, आधार कार्ड टेबल ओके सो आधार कार्ड टेबल विल हैव आधार कार्ड आईडी एंड आधार कार्ड नंबर राइट आधार कार्ड नंबर ओके सो नाउ हियर आई विल टेक वन एग्जांपल स्टूडेंट आईडी डी वन एंड फर्स्ट नेम विल बी लेट मी
let me expand this okay so first name Russell and second name check okay similarly one more second name Sachin uh, record number two I am showing Tendulkar similarly other card will have other card ID and other card number one two three four five six seven eight nine some dummy number I have added similarly another record Uh, let me add one two three four five six seven and something some dummy number okay so now to maintain relationship between a uh, student table and author card table so we need to add we should have relationship with uh, both the table right so either student student table can have student table can have uh, other ID other id right so other id nothing but so let's say uh, rasul's passport number rasul's passport number is the uh, record number one in other table so that time what is the mapping so other id will be one in uh, student table similarly sachin tendulkar other uh, uh, card number let's assume it's two nothing but relationship we have to maintain in uh, student table will be two so this is how you can have as many number of students with a mapping with other id similarly vice versa we can do how we can do that so here who is the owner student table is student uh, is owner student is owning the relationship here other card is uh, non-owning relationship so, right so in vice versa also we can do so how we can do that so either so i will remove other card id here so other card can have student id let me expand this student id column other card table will have a student id column so uh, student table will have only id first name and last name so this time who is owning the relationship this time other card table is owning the relationship because other card table is having student id so like this whether we can make a student table as a so, uh, student table will uh, uh, student table make uh, ownership and uh, or other card table make ownership either this or either this one so either uh, student table or other card table so this is one simple example so let's create how quickly we can test this one to one relationship mapping with uh, Spring Boot without creating restful APIs. Okay, so now there is uh, there is a interface available in Spring Boot. What is called command line runner? Command line runner. So command line runner will uh, command line runner is the interface, and it has a abstract method called run method. So what will happen so whenever whenever you start spring boot application that time uh, spring boot once initialize the uh, application context internally so after that uh, this run method will be executed by spring boot automatically you got right so whenever you start the spring boot application uh, first uh, the main method of spring boot application is being executed so the, uh, when it will uh, when run method is being called so after creating once application context is been created after that uh, spring boot will execute run method automatically so after that it will terminate the uh, so after that it will uh, successfully end the application start uh, okay so now let me prove you uh, which one call first which one call end okay so testing purpose what i will do system dot out dot println so here let me put uh, 
starting of spring application okay next let me add another uh, statement system dot out dot println so here i am going to add another message like uh, ending ending of spring boot application okay so after that i will add one sop in inside the run method okay so here let me add new line so here i will add command line execution command line runner execution started okay so now i just saved the application you can see in the console once spring boot started successfully you can see first which one is executed uh, which spop is displayed starting of the spring boot application after that so application context is being created here you can see so after uh, once application context is being created so after that command line execute runner is executed spring boot is executing command line runner of run method so you can see command line runner execution started so once uh, run method is executed successfully after that spring boot end of spring boot application so now we can understand when you start the application this run method when it is being called so uh, it, uh, first execution will starts from main method so once application context is created by spring container spring boot so after that so it will execute a run method of command line runner so once this is executed successfully after that it will terminate the execution end of spring boot application so let me clear the console i will show you one more time so what will happen so first it, this uh, sop will display during the execution so after that once application context is being created then immediately run method is being executed so after, once it is successfully executed what are all the statements we have written here after that it will terminate the spring boot application it will end of the spring boot application okay so execution will start there so now he from here now we are going to write all we are going to test a one-to-one -one relationship uh, with the command line runner of run method so from here we can test our one-to-one -one relationship without writing any rest apis okay this is one way to test quickly test one-to-one -one relationship uh, uh, association so now so the example which i took so student and author card so student can associated with other card and other card can associated with student so that means one student can have only one other card and one other one other card can associated with only one student so i am taking one simple example so now let me create so if you want to test one to one application in hibernate first what we have to do we have to create entity right so in this example i will create entity first so student and author card so let me create so there is an entity package already there so i will create inside that class student finish so let me stop the server for the time being so now so how we can declare your class as an entity the rate entity annotation organize the import control shift f control shift o so now i am going to create properties of student private long id similarly private string first name private 
string last name. So I just want to create a setters and getter methods. Source and then click generate button. So now let me generate two string method. source generates two string so i just want to display uh, okay let me display all click generate button so now after that we need to create aadhar card class or entity so let me right click a new class aadhar card finish so how we can declare an entity at, at the rate entity annotation so now this will have uh, properties called long aadhar card id and private aadhar number okay so now let's create setters and getter methods source select all click on generate let me create two string method everybody aware of it right so why two string method so if you want to display object in the in java so you have we must override the two string method otherwise you cannot display the data save so our entities are ready so now uh, so student so if uh, student table will have primary key right so what is the primary key id will be the primary key control shift to organize the import and uh, and who will generate the primary key of student so let hibernate generate how it can generate by using generated generated value let's uh, you strategy type i will give identity okay so now student entity is ready so now uh, i will give first name last name as a same as is so i don't want to specify the columns so it will create first underscore name and last underscore name in database right similarly in author card so let me create the primary key and generated value strategy will take uh, identity so now here control shift to that's it so now we have other card is ready and uh, student table is ready so now so who will create the uh, tables for us let's hibernate create so application or properties here I, I think i already defined update right so as of now instead of update so let me do create i will give value as a create so, so what what does it mean ddl auto create in the sense so whenever you restart the server whenever your server is restarted so it will always uh, delete the tables and uh, create the fresh tables in database new tables in database existing tables will be deleted and it will create when it will create new tables in database if you give ddl auto is equal to create right so now we already discussed in previous lectures okay so now it's done so let me start the server what will happen so before that let me open the sql yog so here in employee db so we have employee and passport so we don't have a, a student and aadhar card table right so let me open the eclipse and start the spring boot application so i just started spring boot application
what will happen now see you can see there is a create employee so so since it is uh, we have a uh, employee and uh, passport table and um, passport entities in our uh, project right that's the reason it's recreated so as of now forget about it so focus on uh, passport and student so you can see passport table is created and student table is created so to avoid confusion let me delete the uh, employee tables so that you guys will not have uh, i will just uh, comment it out and in passport also i will comment it out so let me comment all the properties in passport or we'll do one thing so delete it anyway not needed passport and otherwise i need to copy i need to comment or service class repository everything right so i am deleting two tables so let me stop the server so now application will throw exception rights because the student and all i am using in dto so let me delete dtos also i don't want similarly i will re remove jpa repositories as well let's let uh, our project will have only other and student to avoid confusion for you okay so i will let it controller as well so now we don't have uh, uh, other than other and student who don't, who don't have any other entities right so now let me start the server again okay you can see uh, so create audio first uh, it is trying to delete uh, drop the tables and then uh, aadhar card table is created and student table is created so if you open the database refresh object repository object browser and you can see aadhar card aadhar underscore card you can see it is created as a aadhar underscore card and uh, table name is a oh existing we have entered deleted so let me delete these two tables as well okay so now we have only aadhar card and student so if you see aadhar card will have only <coughs> id primary key and number and student table will have uh, id first first name and last name so but they, there is no relationship between them right so now let me create relationship between aadhar and student so i will make a student as a uh, owner i will i will make student entity as a owner so so if you student table is a <coughs> owner so then what we have to do so student can associated with you can see student can associated with aadhar card so nothing but inside the student we have to create aadhar card property right so aadhar card aadhar card that's it so now we just need to create setters and getter methods that's it so now to establish the connection so what we have to do so we have to create we have to define one to one relationship so before so one to one relationship okay 
save see the moment we add one to one relationship so our tables uh, hibernate is generated primary key in student table you can see there is a primary key generated in uh, so, sorry foreign key generated in student table other underscore card underscore id and other card will have only id and primary key right so id uh, number and primary key student table will have id first name last name along with that we have created a relationship right one to one relationship it has aadhar card id primary key so if you open database and check refresh object browser don't get confused database name i have given uh, earlier we have created employee db rights so this uh, db name as a only employee db okay so but tables we have created passport and sorry uh, aadhar and student so if you see student table will have primary key of aadhar card aadhar card so this is a foreign key so foreign key nothing but the primary key of another table so here uh, who is the uh, uh, who is the uh, this foreign key belongs to primary key of aadhar card table so here this is a primary key and aadhar card underscore id is a foreign key in student table so now relationship established with the student and aadhar card so student is uh, who is the owner here student is the owning the relationship and aadhar card is non owning the relationship so student now as of now student only can access aadhar card so just quickly how we can test this one we'll see now so to test the application so we need a jpa repository we need to create a jpa repository so i am going to perform database operation with jpa repository so insert the jpa repository i will create interface uh, student jpa repository finish so this will extend jpa repository so here jpa repository is having generic type right here we need to pass student entity and primary key is long data type i have to so long now just declare it as a repository so repo so our repository is ready now so let me stop the server as of now otherwise it will keep on disturbing us so now now our student repository is ready similarly let me create aadhar card repository aadhar card jpa repository so this will uh, extends jpa repository so sorry this should be interface by mistake i have created a class let me delete so let me create new interface aadhar card and it, it can extend jpa repository okay so now we need to pass aadhar card entity so data type to kya as a long declare our interface as a repository that's it so now we have entities are ready and repository is ready so how quickly we can test one to one association you can see now so to test uh, to save the to, to perform database operations so what we need so if you want to store employee sorry store uh, student information so we need a jpa repository object so let me create jpa repository instance so how we can create 
so private student jpr repository control space student jpr repository so we need to so I, earlier i told you right so spring boot first it will initialize all the application context so uh, spring boot will create uh, application context first then only run method is being executed that means our student repository is going to initialize by spring boot so how we can uh, define at the rate auto wire so now we have jp uh, student jp repository so similarly let me create private and other card jp repository what is the name i have given i just given other card huh? so let me rename it other card jpa repository that's it so now let's create other card jp repository other card jp repository so who will create object of this instance spring board so let me give auto wire so now we have student jp repository other card jp repository instance is ready now so now we are going to perform one to one relationship between student and jp repository so if you want to store the student information first you have to store other details because it has foreign key relationship with the other card table student is having relationship with the other card that's the reason first before insert if you want to insert the student details so first you have to insert other card so let me create other card information so other card other card is equal to new other card spell mistake I have given okay let me give other card what is the name I have given here entity name other card okay spell mistake okay it's okay let's use the same name a d d other card okay so now i let me set the data how we can set data other card dot sorry object dot object dot set we need to set the primary key because primary key is auto generated right so i just will just uh, insert other card number one two three four five with some dummy number okay assume this is one other card number so now next student information we need to insert we need to mock student data student is equal to new student that's it so now we need to set student information student dot set first name searching student to dot set last name then do okay so now we have a student information ready other information ready so let me uh, store employee table so how we can store with the help of student jp sorry so let me store student information so what is the uh, object repository name to store stu student information student jp repository so student jp repository dot what is the method to save the data save method so here i just pass student information that's it so let me start the server we'll see what will happen
so in our database we don't have any data as of now in student table as well as other table no data present right so let me start the application see so student table is created again it is uh, deleted and created again student table is created and uh, other table also created because uh, now application properties i have given as a create so now i will give uh, instead of that later i will give so let me test so you can see now after that if you observe here there is a student is uh, in inserted and other card also inserted if you observe here there is a two queries are generated here alter table insert into student values and where is other insert query see other is not stored you can see open the table other details are not stored because only employee information is stored why because go to application so here i have create other card i have other card data we have added and student data i have added but we haven't append uh, we have we have to set passport details with the uh, student right so let me set student information with uh, pass uh, other information with student so let me set student to dot because we haven't uh, set other card with student object so here you need to pass other card so now let's see what will happen yeah so it is unsaved transient uh, instance before flushing so what i am doing it here so i am trying to insert student repository but before inserting student repository so we need to first insert aadhar card right so let me insert aadhar card how we can insert other card with the help of other jpa repository that's the reason that error we have we got so other card yeah so now we'll see what will happen you can see insert into other card and insert into student class so now student information also inserted and other information also inserted if you open the database let me refresh you can see this is student id and first name and last name and aadhar card uh, foreign key is added in database student table similarly in aadhar card we uh, data also inserted so this is one directional mapping because student only is associated with aadhar card and student is on, student only owning the relationship so now let me find uh, let me fetch the details see how quickly we can test one to one relationship without writing restful api it's very very easy now i want to fetch the data how we can fetch the data so i want to fetch uh, student information so with the help of student jpa repository i can test i can fetch uh, find uh, student information by find by id so one l so what is the primary key i am getting first record so what it will return it will return student
student object student uh, display i will give object name as a student display so this should be student jpa repository dot find so let me print the values let me clear the console student information student display so this is the object we have to give student display similarly i want to display passport details as well system dot outer print ln so here i will display sorry aadhar card aadhar card information so plus student display dot get aadhar card so uh, let me before saving the file so the moment you save the file our server will restart automatically and our uh, run method is being executed first it will insert the uh, passport and employee so passport and student details after that it will fetch student information and passport information so let me clear the console and let me save the file you can see server restarted now if you observe so along with the student information student information also displayed and aadhar card also displayed so if you observe actually so it is a eager fetch why passport information is not displayed so let me debug and check so by default if you don't specify any uh, uh, fetch fetch operation so in one to one relationship by default whenever you are trying to fetch the data it will be eager loading so uh, let me prove that eager loading nothing but so if you see here what i am trying to do it here so here i am i am just uh, trying to fetch employee information and displaying employee information so in student table so i ha so okay let me open the console let me clear is there any data here no nothing is there so if you observe so in this step what i am doing i am trying to fetch the student information and displaying student information so here uh, so by default one to one relationship so when you are trying to fetch the details so it will be eager loading eager loading nothing but along with the student details you will uh, find uh, aadhar card details as well so let me prove that so internally even if you don't want uh, aadhar card details if you, if you are trying to fetch student details still internally uh, hibernate will uh, join the aadhar card table to fetch the student information along with student information so let me put breakpoint here and so i will stop the server i will run in debug mode so that you can easily understand now yeah breakpoint came here right so here what i am trying to do i am going to explain you uh, eager loading and lazy loading with uh, student and aadhar card relationship so now i am trying to fetch uh, student display i am going to i am trying to fetch student information uh, if you just check i will put breakpoint one more one here just function f8 i put breakpoint here and press function f8 control came to here if you see in console the moment this statement is executed see internally hibernate is fetching aadhar card details also it is doing left join 
the moment this statement is being executed to fetch the student information so i am just requesting for student information so along with the student information hibernate is generating left join with aadhar card as well even if i don't want aadhar card details this is nothing but eager loading or eager fetch fetching okay so whenever i'm trying to fetch the employ, uh, student details so hibernate is generating left uh, along with the uh, select query and it is joining left join with aadhar card table even if you want only student display because it is eager loading so sometimes whenever in real time environment if you if you want to uh, do eager loading it might be performance issues because you are requesting student information but uh, along with the student information hibernate is uh, uh joining aadhar card table as well because it has one to one relationship even in one to one relationship so if you want to fetch student table so hibernate should fetch only for student table so how we can do that we, we, we can implement with lazy operation so you can see here again student display will be come so again uh function f8 i will do so both the statements are executed and aadhar card information is printed so now let me uh change fetch operation as a lazy type fetch so you can easily understand guys i am giving one more example to make you understand one to one relationship okay so now if you open the console there is nothing no logs available right so now let me this time now i am i am going to perform lazy operation so lazy loading lazy loading nothing but so hibernate will not fetch aadhar card details so if you go to there earlier in eager loading whenever this statement is executed that time hibernate is joining with student table because that is eager loading so now i have explicitly specified lazy loading right in student entity i have specified with lazy loading so now the moment the statement execute hibernate will not fetch student details let me execute function f8 so you can see hibernate is not joining the aadhar card details so hibernate is trying to fetch only student details then when student details is going to fetch sorry when uh, aadhar card details are going to fetch whenever needed whenever you needed that time only hibernate will generate query to fetch aadhar card details this is nothing but lazy loading so now if you, you see the moment this statement is executed so select star from student only so hibernate is not joined aadhar table so when stood uh, when aadhar card uh, details will display so whenever you need whenever you need in the sense whenever you are calling get aadhar method with the help of student objects so that time only whenever you are executing this statement that time only hibernate will generate the query to fetch aadhar card details so let me execute that as well function f6 so student information is displayed so now you can see as of now only select statement for student so now the moment student display dot get aadhar method is executed function f8 you can see in console uh, select operation to fetch aadhar details so whenever you need that time only hibernate will fetch aadhar details in by uh, by you by specifying lazy operation with the help of fetch is equal fetch dot lazy this is nothing but lazy loading so in real time environment you should always perform lazy operations you should not perform eager loading why because if you perform eager loading whenever trying to fetch the um, student information it will whether you not needed also other card details also will come as part of student information along with student other details also will display in eager loading so in lazy loading if you fetch uh, 
uh, student information you will get only student information when you will get uh, author information whenever you are calling the method get author whenever you are needed that time only Hibernate will generate uh, query to fetch author detail this is called lazy loading see very easy how quickly we tested one to one relationship this is unidirectional mapping rights as of now uh, employee only sorry uh, author card only student only can access other card this is unidirectional mapping let me establish bidirectional mapping nothing but so other card also can access student display so before that let me fetch let me fetch other details how we can fetch other details with the help of other jpa repository let me copy other jpa repository object dot find by id specify long panel so now why i am specifying l if you don't specify l it will treat it will treat it as a double so uh, if you given l then it will treat as a long it will take it as an integer if you remove see if you remove l what will happen this method find by long is undefined type for the int so by default it is taking as a int so why because primary key what is the primary key of other jp repository long i have given long that's the reason we have to specify explicitly one l so dot get that's it so now it will return other card details other card display i will name it as a other card display equal to. so yeah break point is, is running in db uh, whenever you modify the file server will restart automatically right so so let me stop the server for the time being let me write the logic so i just want to display this is not needed so other display i want to fetch other details information right so now here let me comment it out as of now this one okay now i am trying to fetch other card detail so let me run in debug mode only yeah breakpoint came so first student details will be fetched function f8 so here so now let me clear the console so we'll see now when you are trying to fetch uh, aadhar card details i just clear the console nothing is there so i am trying to execute uh, trying to fetch aadhar details so function let me put breakpoint here so that function f8 it will come directly here see select so as of now aadhar card details only is coming so along with aadhar card there is no employee information because we have implemented unidirectional only so let me execute so you can find only other details so because other doesn't have relationship with student so let me implement bidirectional mapping in other card so earlier we are able to fetch uh, student uh, other card details with student because student is having one to one relationship right so student is the owner of relationship so whenever you are trying to fetch student information along with student information you are able to fetch other card but other card doesn't have relationship with student so for that we need to implement bi-directional mapping how we can do that let me stop the server and type it student student so let me create generate setters and getter methods 
finish so how we can declare so now one to one so student other card can can access student as well so one to one mapping one to one so that's it so if you bidirectional mapping right so we should not if you make it one to one so what it will display so in other card inside the other other card table so student id also will display so that means uh, uh, we are duplicating the data so student also will have other card and other card will have student information similarly student is having other and student information and other will have student and other information both so it is duplicating data if you specify like this so that's the reason we have to make other card as a non owning relationship so to make non owning relationship we have to specify map code by so what we have to give so the object which we have given here other card that's it map code by nothing but other card entity as a non owning relationship so we are just mapping other card details with student so that's it so let me do by default it is a eager operation eager loading right so let me start the server now let me run in debug mode uh, let me start later i will run in debug mode okay if you open the database if you see refresh object repository and employee table uh, first let me open uh, sorry uh, student table so student is having sachin tendulkar and uh, primary key of aadhar card similarly in aadhar card you see aadhar card details we have so now if you fetch uh, let me clear the console now i am trying to fetch to uh, other card details if you try to fetch other card details this time along with the other student information also is displayed so let me remove breakpoint here so let's uh, test by directional mapping so now other also can access student information let me run in debug mode function update so now we are going to test uh, by directional mapping so aadhar card also can able to access student information right so because we have added by directional mapping in aadhar card so aadhar card will have student property so now let me start in debug mode to show you by directional mapping put breakpoint is here so now let me clear the console so now we are testing by directional mapping so the moment aadhar card uh we are fetching other card 1l so other card 1 sorry other card 1 we are trying to fetch so what will happen in background we'll see so for, let me put breakpoint also here so function f8 if you see the console so other card details are fetching along with student information other card is fetching along with student information because other card is having now bidirectional mapping with student so this is eager loading so let me execute function f8 so bidirectional mapping also eager loading right so because by default in one to one mapping what will happen so whenever you are trying to fetch the records it will be eager operation or eager loading or eager association so now uh, let me make it 
as a lazy operation strategy fetch type lazy so now so breakpoint came here so let me clear the console function effect if you see now only aadhar card details are is being fetched aadhar card details are being fetched and student details uh, when it, it, it is going to fetch because so here i have a displaying aadhar card information right that's a reason uh, student information also is going to display because to, to string method we have added right so because of that so now let me clear the console and execute so to testing purpose so let me get uh, student information get student information so here to differentiate you so student information so function f8 you can see now before that let me clear the console and the moment you are trying to fetch aadhar card details function f8 you can see only student information is being fetched you can see only student information is being fetched so aadhar card when it will display so this is one previous one actually let me clear again so now the moment you call student information that time only student information is going to execute in database so now function f8 if you see here so student information is displayed only the moment you called get student method that time only it is being executed this is called lazy operation in bidirectional mapping let me show you one more time so let me just control space save so server will restart clear the console you can inspect also guys right click and you can click on inspect all the details still is not executed that's a reason function f8 so whenever needed so when you are trying to fetch all the in lazy loading operation only aadhar card details is being fetched and uh, whenever you needed whenever you can see whenever you needed whenever you execute get student method that time only hibernate will generate select statement to fetch student information this is called lazy loading function f8 so now we can see student information also displayed so this is how we can test uh, one to one association mapping with command line runner without writing rest apis very very easy guys you have to practice one more on time okay in next lecture i will this explain about another mapping okay thank you guys Uh, guys make sure you guys are practicing every day if you practice then only you can uh, achieve your uh, uh, development skills okay otherwise no simply listening classes will not help you so if you want to improve your development skills you always have to practice see why i am teaching again and again one to one mapping because there are several, several ways are there we can test with uh, rest api we can test with command line runner just now you saw right so and also we can write jnu test case also by writing jnu test case also we can test our uh, relationship without writing rest apis how quickly we can test see very very easy simply you have to create entities and you just need to create jpa repository after that your spring boot application main class should uh, implements command line runner and override run method and inside that whatever operations you want to test just write the business logic inside this run method okay thank you guys
so who are all uh, watching newly so please subscribe my channel uh, if you subscribe you will get more every day new new videos okay updated videos my channel will be name will be youtube slash rasul slash shake slash playlist so you can subscribe and you can watch all the videos so every day i will upload one updated video with a new concept okay guys so so far i have explained one to one with two examples student and passport sorry employee and passport and student and author card so in previous lecture you can watch uh, student uh, sorry employee and uh, passport one to one association mapping and th in this lecture you can see another example student and aadhar card one to one association mapping so how quickly we have tested it's very very easy so unidirectional mode as well as bidirectional mode okay thank you guys